I'm Carl Anthony, and welcome to AutoSense, the world's leading community for ADAS and autonomous vehicle technology development. We create best-in-class events, training, and information to connect engineers, scientists, and many other automotive industry experts across the globe. We're joined today by James Kim. He's the Director of Sales and Business Development for the United States and India for NextChip. And James, thank you for joining us and being with us here on AutoSense. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Good to see James, you. James, good to see you too. I haven't talked to you since we were in Brussels a, a few years ago before the pandemic. And I understand that with the time zone difference right now, with me uh, being in Michigan here in the United States and you being in Korea, it is 1 a.m. in the morning for you where you're at. <laughs> yeah, but but I'm fine. I'm, I'm glad to talk to you this morning. So let's uh, let's dive right in. Uh, tell us a little bit about NextChip. Give us an overview of the company. Okay, <clears throat> NextChip is uh, Fabdis ISP company. Uh, we have uh, uh, we actually working for the automotive camera system technologies, and based on this uh, the image processing technology, we have uh, some other product lineups like SOCs and some AHD, which is transmission, image transmission technology too. So uh, we have a lot of record now, right now, and we spent most, more than 10 years for this automotive field. And we try to uh, build up a lot of ecosystem. We have, man, we have actually the silicon, so a lot of IP companies we are working with. So we try to uh, get into the market more and more. James, when we're talking about the camera market and in particular automotive, right? What are yeah. some of the current trends that you see today? What are some of the most important trends when it comes to automotive and camera technology? Yeah, as an ISP design company with image processing technology, recent automotive camera technology trends can be divided into two categories. First, we can talk about resolution. The external cameras were generally at the level of VGA or one megapixel, maximum two megapixel. <clears throat> but the, in the days to come, it will be reviewed from three mega to eight megapixel or 12 or 15 or so. For in-cabin cameras, two, mega, two megapixel cameras are mainly used. And in the case of applications combining drive monitoring system and occupant monitoring system together, then it will be around five megapixel camera will be the trend. Secondly, there, there are various color filter arrays. In the end, efforts are being made to increase sensitivity and increase the visibility of by securing as much light as possible. For this purpose, the trend of uh, changing from traditional RGB to RCCB has continued over the past few years. And recently, various color filter arrays such like uh, RCCG, RCCC, RYYCY, and RGB IR for OMS are being reviewed. So next year, we'll release two products in this, in this year in, in line with the above trend. In, at, it includes the upgraded pipeline with the latest uh, image processing technologies, supports almost all kinds of color filter arrays, and will be capable of processing of up to eight megapixel. You know, James, you mentioned some very key things there, uh, color filter arrays in cabin. Uh, these are things that we're discussing at AutoSense. These are things that our attendees and our viewers, they care very much about. Um, yeah. When we're talking intelligent <laughs> camera systems, James, let me pick your brain for a minute. How do we take intelligent camera systems and how do we really fulfill these market needs? Yeah, in the, in the past, the in-vehicle cameras were simply used to transmit and display the images, but now they, they are being used for various functions and aid us by analyzing and recognizing the images. Image processing must also have a direction according to these functions. 
technologies that matches the image recognition analysis and algorithms such as noise pattern processing method, color reproduction level, and image distortion processing method are required. As a company specializing in image processing technology, we believe that the optimization for the camera system, image tuning for intelligent functions, and semiconductor design to respond to various system structures are important factor for the intelligent camera system. Right. Now, James, when it comes to Apache 5, and then you mentioned some of your other system on chip products. So mm -hmm. what's the differentiation there between Apache 5 from other SOC uh, products? Yeah, I believe there are strong and powerful SOCs in the market, of, of course. And they are used for intelligent camera system for various applications. But here, Apache 5, which is scheduled to be demonstrated in real time in the exhibition hall, has a form factor small enough to be mounted on the camera domain and shows okay. low power consumption due to the low semiconductor manufacturing process. It is a product with a built-in MPU for smooth CNN processing and boost a small but powerful performance. In particular, the MPU installed in Apache 5 is divided by, provided by AI motif, and it can be said that high utilization is a big advantage. Although numerically high performance should be used well in practice, this is often not the case. It's only natural for customers to expect performance for what they pay for and when they buy and use it. Apache 5's MPU AI wear shows around 90% utilization rate, which is the top level of the market. Right. We implemented driver monitoring system and occupant monitoring system through collaboration with the eMotion 3D and implemented camera applications for external recognition through collaboration with AI motif. James, uh, there's a, a lot of just a lot of great information there. So you're talking about collaboration, talking about things like low power consumption, small form factor. Why is it important that NextChip does all of these things? Why is that important for your customers? Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, think about that. I mean, uh, we, we, we want to do something on, on our piece. So probably the uh, PC has very powerful and then we can do everything on the PC. But if there is specific application and specific purpose, then it doesn't have to be uh, so powerful. So that's our concept. We, we just focus on the optimization. So we know how to design the chipset. We have technology. So uh, the, this kind of balance and optimization will make our customer happier, definitely. Right. James, you uh, focus a lot of your time on the United States and India. So tell us in the United States and India, uh, what are some of the trends that you're seeing in those two areas of the world specifically? Wow, this, this can be very, uh, very personal because, you know, the uh, it depends on my experience and uh, my, yeah, my time in USA and India. Uh, nowadays, uh, in India, actually, uh, they are very much focused on the surround view external camera system. They, they don't ask much about uh, driver monitoring system locally because, you know, the, there are some uh, tiers uh, who is in uh, India, but still they are uh, doing some driver monitoring system, occupant monitoring system, such kind of in cabin cameras for some outside, I mean, European and but the, uh, in local, yeah, definitely the surround view monitoring system and exterior exterior cameras are the trend because they don't they don't have have much cameras in vehicle, but nowadays they try to install uh, more and more. U.S. market actually uh, we have several uh, requests. One is. Uh, Exactly the ADAS SOC, like Apache 4 or 5 and such kind of edge processing with well managing the image processing as well as the 
uh, enough uh, computing power that they can uh, they can use they can port their own algorithms or or their uh, some program I mean software for their purpose. So uh, mostly they are looking for the in-cabin camera, definitely. Right. And some, you know, the others like uh, front viewing detection and rear view detection and surround view with uh, the recognition. Such kind of applications are very much uh, needed nowadays. James, you mentioned Apache 4, Apache 5. Uh, as far as the future, uh, what does next chip have planned? Is there such a thing as Apache 6 maybe? Yeah, there is Apache 6 and it will come in the end of this year. Okay. And actually uh, there is some behind the story about why we designed this product. If you look at the roadmap of related to autonomous driving, you will see the technological advancement in the previous stage of ultimate autonomous driving which is technically divided into high speed driving and parking. When these two are combined, fully autonomous driving will be realized. So uh, in the end of the, this year, Apache 6, the next product of Apache 5 is scheduled to be launched. And Apache 6 can be said to be a central oriented SOC platform because I mentioned a lot of time about Apache 4 and 5 is the, uh, with the, the designed for the uh, to to be mounted in the camera side, but this is Apache Six will not be like that, and it's not a product designed with the edge, uh, it's central, and the application used in the plan is autonomous pilot parking, and it can be said that it contains all the elements necessary to implement it. First of all, the powerful ARM Cortex. A65 quad core is the main CPU, and there are two physical separated ISP that can handle that can handle eight megapixel and two megapixel four channel at the same time. Okay. It has built-in GPU and 128 G-flow performance and VSLAM accelerator, which is very unique, and that enables uh, real-time VSLAM execution. And AIware, which has proven high utilization rate in Apache 5, has been adopted as an MPU, and performance of up to eight tops is expected. So this product is uh, ACB compliant and will have a built-in block for cybersecurity and fusion with heterogeneous sensors such as ultrasonic sensor and radar will be taken into consideration. It's all fascinating, James. And, and you mentioned cybersecurity, which is an, another, you know, hot topic and, 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 a, and a hot yes. trend. So it, it's amazing to see, you know, Apache 6 uh, progress. And we're very excited that you could join us for AutoSense uh, again. Uh, before we wrap up the interview, how can our viewers and our AutoSense attendees, how can they get in touch with NextChip to learn more information about everything that you're doing? Yeah, um, yeah, my contact is there on our website. So uh, the, those who want to come, then www.nextchip.com. So just to contact me or mail me. So I will respond to whatever you ask. James, we want to thank you for your time, for sharing your expertise and your thought leadership and for staying up late with us. <laughs> Get some sleep and thank you for sure. joining us here on AutoSense. All right. Thank you so much, Carl. Thank you. For more interviews like this, subscribe to AutoSense on YouTube and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. For more information on our world-class events and technical training, visit auto-sense.com. That's auto-sense.com. On behalf of AutoSense in Detroit, I'm Carl Anthony.